Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wired for Crappie. Glad you guys joined me. Got something special for you guys today. Uh, wanted to talk to you guys about uh, side imaging and how to read your side imaging, how to read your down imaging. So I get questions a lot of times about what to look for, what am I looking at, you know, people get lost in everything that is side imaging and down imaging. So we're going to go through it today. I'm going to show you guys some actual side imaging photos. We're going to put them on the computer screen and we're going to dissect them. And I'm going to show you guys how I read my side imaging and my down imaging. So stick with us. It's going to be a good show. I'm going to try to help you guys out. I hope you learn a lot and we'll be right back with you. So this is side imaging, and again, this image is a little fuzzy. This is the right side of my side imaging, okay, guys? So if you look at the left side of the picture, that's actually center of the boat. So center of the boat is right here, okay? This bright line right here is center of the boat. So this is actually kind of the right side of my side imaging, okay? Uh, you can see I'm on 40 feet, all right? Right here is the shadow of what is the structure. So there's a piece of structure right here that is PVC. All right. So you can see you're not getting a return off that PVC, but you're getting a shadow. And you can see the PVC sticks out there. It sticks out here. It comes up and then it comes up here. It comes up here. It goes out here and it comes up. That's the shadow. So that's actually right there where that cursor is right in here. Now, if you look you can see all the individual crappie sitting right here. Okay. Now, one thing I do want you to notice is these fish are stacked vertically. Okay. So if, if for the purpose of side imaging, again, here's the boat right down here on this left side. Okay. This is the bottom of the lake. All right, so if I turn this, now, here's the boat, okay? This is the center of the boat again, but I turned the image, so here's the bottom of the boat. So now it looks more like a down image, okay? So if I was to go over this with my down imaging, all right, there's the surface or the boat. There's the bottom. Here's the structure and the fish. Now look. See how these fish are stacked vertically? And I know I just said that, but I'm reiterating to go back. Your crappie are going to stack on structure 90% of the time vertically. All right. You do have a couple fish that are sitting out here on the outside because those are your most active fish. Those two fish right there and these two fish up here are your most active fish fish these fish right here will bite but they will typically bite after these four okay one two three four if you throw if i was to cast a jig out on my live scope and it starts falling right down through here i would almost bet my paycheck that this fish or that fish is going to react on that bait before any other fish in this pot those two right there are probably your most active, followed by these two that are outside the pile. And then once those two bite, it's gonna re, they're gonna it's gonna cause a reaction from the rest of the pile, and the rest of this pile is going to bite. I remember this pile. This was last year. I did a video on this pile because these fish, when I caught that one right there, I caught that fish right there, and these fish absolutely lit up, and I caught probably twenty off that pile right there. So um, I'm going to turn this back around. Uh, let's turn it back around here. So that's what you're looking for on a side image on a pile. That's a PVC pile. Okay. 
you can see right here, look, there's a box. This is a point and you can't really tell it, but there's a point that comes off right here. This is at the bottom of the point. This is actually a, um, a catfish box that's up on the point. So that's pretty neat. You can see it. It goes right down through here, right there, back up, and there's the square right there. There's a shadow for the box. That's actually a catfish box. So it's pretty neat. And this over here is only about six feet deep, seven feet deep. So, all right. So here again, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So in this image, Obviously, right down here is the bottom of my screen, okay? I run four, 455 kilohertz, all right? I'm looking both left and right. I'm 50 feet out to the side. I'm looking 50 feet out to the side, okay, in this, in this image. Um, I do not run auto range, obviously. You can see that's off. Um, this is a tree, Okay, here's the center of the boat. That bright line right there is the center of my boat on zero. Okay, you can tell by where the black meets the, the gold, we're in about 18 to 19 feet of water. All right, and you can see there's the stump of the tree. There's the trunk of this tree. It comes up all the way up into here. There's another stump of the tree right there. It comes all the way out into here. There's another stump of tree right here. It goes this way. So this is just kind of a deadfall, all right, that is, is in the lake. Now, right here is the crappie. All these are crappie. This right here is actually a brush pile, okay? This right here is actually a brush pile. So there's a brush pile. Let me see if I can draw on here. I think I can. Oh, yeah. Let's draw on here. Do, 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 do. Uh, all right. So let's see if I can do this. Oh, that's horrible. How do I go back? That's too thick. And... Yeah, okay. We'll lose the changes. All right. I'm going to get this right here in a second. That's better. All right. So, there's a little brush pile here. And there's a little brush pile here. Okay. You've got a tree here. You've got a tree here. Okay, and then you've got a couple trees right there. Okay, so <clears throat> there's two schools of crappie on this brush pile. There's one school. There's one school right here in the middle of these two brush piles. Okay. As you can see, there's one crappie, two crappie, three crappie, four crappie, five crappie, six crappie, seven crappie, eight crappie, nine crappie, ten crappie, eleven crappie. There's about a dozen crappie right there. There is a couple crappie over here on the edge of this pile. There's one that's out here. He's kind of a loner just sitting out there in open water. He probably just got done chasing a little shad because there is some little bait fish right here that you can see. Um, but there's one school of crappie right there. Now, the second school of crappie you cannot see white dots on that second school of crappie, okay? I'll show you where they're at. They are right here. There's that second school of crappie. Now, you say, Matt, how do you know there's a school of crappie there? I don't see a school of crappie there, but let me show you why because there's a shadow right here. There's shadows right there. There's shadows right here. You see those little black round shadows? There's a couple right here. There's a couple in that circle there. And there's one right here. 
And I missed one. There's one right there. See those little black shadows? Those are shadows from the crappie. That school of crappie is right here on top of this tree. Okay? That's what you're looking for on your side imaging when you're looking for fish. You're looking for these little shadows. They don't, it's not much. But can you see out here? Look out here. Compare it to this right here. Okay? Or this up here. There's no shadows anywhere in that. It's just bottom. Okay? So when you look down here, you can make out that shadow, that shadow, that shadow, that shadow, that shadow, this little shadow. That's all fish, guys. And they're right back here. Now, the higher those fish are in the water column, the further those little shadows will be away from the brush. They may be out here in this area. Though, if those fish are real shallow, it may cast a shadow out here. All right. If they're real deep, close to the bottom, those shadows may be more in here. But those shadows is what tells you there's fish there. So in your down imaging, you're going to get fish fish marks like this. They're going to be white fish marks. Again, I want you to pay attention to these fish are stacked vertically. Okay. Those fish aren't spread out. They're stacked vertically. Okay. So that's what tells me definitely those are crappie that are stacked in between those two brush piles. All right. That's how I break down brush piles and timber structure on my side imaging. Okay. It's the, it's the little, little things that you got to pay attention for those little shadows if you're not paying attention, you will miss them. A lot of guys with this image would miss these fish on this tree, without a doubt. They see these, but they miss these. Now, when I fished this spot, I remember fishing this spot. These fish were decent fish, but over here on this tree, they were giants. As you can see by that shadow right there, that's a big crappie shadow right there. Those were giant fish on that tree. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You can make out those fish right there. So if, I, if I'm looking for something to catch a limit of fish off of and I come over top of this, there is no doubt I'm stopping and fishing, guys. No doubt. So 21 feet of water, okay? Um, don't pay attention to this depth. It's not right. Again, it's cursor depth. Um, 21 feet of water, as you can see. Fish are suspended at about from anywhere from 10 to 14 feet. So let's talk about if I did not have live scope and I was going to fish this pile. Okay. I'd mark this pile with a buoy. I'd back off of it 15 feet. I'd cast over to it and I'd count one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'd try to cast about 15 feet past the buoy or past the brush, okay? And then I'd count seven, eight, nine, ten. I'd start at ten and then I'd start a slow, steady retrieve. And I'd try to bring that bait right across the top of those fish. If it doesn't, if I don't get hit at ten, I may go to twelve. If I don't get hit at 12, I may go to 14. If I don't get hit at 14, I know on my graph, those fish were between 10 and 14. So that's when I'm going to move over and I'm going to cast at a different area. So if I cast it to the right of the buoy, then it get bit at 10, 12, or 14. Then I'm casting to the left of the buoy and I'm going to try to catch one 10, 12, 14 until I locate the brush pile. Then I know where to cast at, right? Live scope just eliminates... It's just it saves time because you can see where to throw. You can count. You can watch your bait go down, and then you can do your retreat. So that is that one. All right, here's another side image. <clears throat> As you can see, deep, very deep, 42.2 feet, okay? Um, that's where the boat is currently at. So you can see right up here, see how this drops? 
So when I stopped it, I was in 42 feet of water. This brush is not in 42 feet of water. This brush is actually in 20 feet of water. And as a matter of fact, that is brush under a dock. Okay, and I'm gonna show you, let me zoom in here. You see this right here in the water and this right here in the water, those are the floaties on the dock. That is a float for the dock and that is a, oops, that's a float for the dock and that's a float for the dock, okay? So right here's the center of the dock. There's a brush pile right there underneath it and there's fish, again, I sound like a broken record, stacked vertically. Fish stacked vertically, okay? See this brush pile over here? There's another brush pile on this right-hand side of the dock. There's another brush pile on the left-hand side of the dock. This dock was on Lake Hartwell. It was absolutely stacked with fish. There's more fish under that dock than three men can catch. So if you look back here, starting right here and coming all the way back to the end of the screen, this is all fish shadow. All these shadows, fish, 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 fish. My gosh, there's fish. I want to go back to Lake Hartwell every time I look at this. It makes me sick. 69.7 degrees of water. It was in November. I love shooting docks in November. Favorite, 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 favorite thing to do. This dock was absolutely loaded. I sat right here and caught fish all day. And then I'd let some of the members that went on the member trip went the next day and caught fish. And then some members from the members trip went the next day and caught fish. It was absolutely loaded with fish and they replenished every day. It was incredible. So when you're looking for docks, guys, you're looking for something that sets up like this. You're looking for something that has some brush under it or brush around it, okay? And floating docks will hold fish. So this, again, is a float for a dock, for the dock, and this is a float for the dock. So right in the middle, all right? Now, that's where they should be because in the center of that dock is where it's going to be the darkest. So they're not going to be, that's why they're not out here on the edge. This was up in the day. I think it was about 11 o'clock when I found this dock. They're not going to be on this edge. Now, I will say this. If this would have been six o'clock and the sun would have been over here in this area, they could have been on this brush pile because the shadow would have been casted on this side. If it's five o'clock and the, and the sun's over here on this side of the dock, they could be over here on this brush pile. They could move back and forth. So, you know, always pay attention when you're scanning docks to what's around the dock. Is there structure around the dock? Obviously, is there fish under the dock? So on and so forth. But that's what I'm looking for when I'm shooting docks, that right there. If I see that right there, better believe I'm turning I'm turning the motor off. It's not going to be, well, we'll come back to that. No, we're turning the motor off. We're fishing that. We ain't going another inch further until we do. So. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I hope, I hope, I hope that that helps. Um, I hope if you didn't have a great understanding of side imaging and, and how it works, what you were looking at, uh, and how to locate fish, what's fish, what's not, what's brush, what's trees, you know, I hope that helps. So, uh, as you guys know, I have a heart to teach, I have a heart to help, and, and you know, that's what I like to do. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we're going to go back fishing probably next week and see if we can't catch a few more of those crappie that we love so much. So, uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, God bless.